Welcome to Customizing BricsCAD. My name is Ralph Grabowski, and it's my pleasure to show you how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. One of the relatively unknown features in BricsCAD is called layer states, and it's a way of instantly switching between the display of different groups of layers. So for example, here you're now seeing all the layers in this particular drawing that are by default displayed. I'm going to go over here to a little toolbar I've created and I'm going to switch to something I call contours. Contours is a different layer state. It's the name of a layer state. And this, what this particular layer state does is it freezes all the layers that I didn't want and turns black all the ones that I did want. So here's the contour ones and you can see some of them are thawed and every, the, all the, almost all the other layers are frozen and then these ones are black. Now watch what happens when I go back into all layers. All the colors are there and then again. So I go into, back into the layer dialog box and you can see a lot of them are turned on and these contour ones are back to the original green and yellow colors. So in this video I'm going to show you how to create layer states and also how to create this nifty toolbar which doesn't come with BricsCAD by default. To set up layer states, go into the uh, Drawing Explorer and I click Layers and then go into Layer States. Now initially it's going to be empty just like this, so to create a new layer state you click on the New button. The interface doesn't particularly guide you on how to do it, so that's why it's a good thing you're watching this video. It's always a good idea to have one layer state that has all the uh, layers at their default settings, so I'm going to make one called All Layers select it. This is the button you click for editing the layer states and I'm just going to click this button to say that they're all included. Okay, so that's not a big deal, that's just exactly what we've had before. Now I'm going to create another one and this one I'm going to call contours because it's only going to show the layers that have contours on them. Now you can see they're in this area here. Now what I need to do is remove the layers I don't want displayed. So the way I'm going to do that, I'm going to click the first layer and then hold down the shift key and click the last one be right before the contour. So there I've got a group there and I remove them and you can see they disappear. And then I repeat it again for down here. Uh, click the uh, this one right after contour, scroll down to the last one, hold down the shift key, click and remove. Okay, so then I click the OK key and there we go. There's our new one. Last step is to uh, apply or to restore these uh, layer state. So I click restore, close the drawing explorer, and now you can see only the layers, the contour layers are displayed. Go back into layer states, switch to all layers, click restore, close, and now it's back to all layers. You are not restricted to simply uh, turning layers on and off, or more specifically, freezing layers and thawing them. You can also change other properties. So I'm going to go back into layer states, back into contours, back into edit. I'm going to change all the colors to black. So I'm going to hold down the shift key, select the first one, select the last one, click on color, choose black, OK. So there they are, very dark gray. Click OK. And then remember to always click Restore, Close, and now the contours are all colored black. Now when I go back into All Layers, Apply, Close, the colors are all back again. The contours are back to being green. Naturally, you can apply other properties as well, such as changing uh, whether they're locked or frozen, change the line types. Uh, line weights, transparency, plot style, plotting, etc, etc, etc. So what isn't handy is constantly having to go into the layer states uh, section of the Drawing Explorer. So the next part I'm going to show you how to make that much easier. To make it much easier to switch between layer states, uh, it would be great to have something on your toolbar. BricsCAD doesn't have it by default, so I'm going to show you how to add that. Go to the Tools menu, Customize, and now I'm going to create a new toolbar. So I right-click BricsCAD, Append Toolbar, I'm going to call it Layer States. Okay, there it is there. Right now it's empty. 
So I'm going to go search for the layer states button. And there it is there. So that lets me get in directly into the drawing explorer in the layer states section. The other thing I'm going to look for is down here. You may not be aware of it. It's called controls. And these are actually the drop lists. And one of them, thankfully, is called layer state. So I'm going to drag that over to here. And now we have the layer states drop list, the layer states button. Actually, I want the button first in the toolbar. So I'm going to drag down the layer states. So there I have the layer states button and the layer state drop list. Click OK. Then you need to turn on that toolbar. Right click, go to BricsCAD and scroll down. And there's our newly created layer states toolbar. It'll probably pop up somewhere on the screen. I'm going to park it right there. So there's the button. I'll click it and it goes directly into the layer states part of the Drawing Explorer if I want to edit layer states. But more interestingly enough, here's this drop list with the two layer states that we created. All layers, and if I choose contours, bingo, right away, we just have the contours all in black. Go back, click all layers, bingo, we're back to all the layers in their proper colors. I trust you enjoyed learning how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. For more on customizing BricsCAD, check out the ebook. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself. Ha, <laughs> ha,